Hiya, welcome back. I've just had to stop to take this in. It is absolutely beautiful out here today, isn't it? What a gorgeous beadnell on the Northumbrian coast. The water is flat calm and absolutely crystal clear. I can't wait to get out there and catch some fish. So we've got a few things to talk about today. We've got a new discount code for Galaxy Kayaks UK and we've got some new soft plastics to try out. But first and foremost, the fishing. Uh, so we're going to head out towards the Newton Boy. We're going to fish the ebb tide north, see if we can catch a few cod, a few pollock and maybe the odd ras. I'll see you over there. Right, so here we go, first drop. It's uh, not actually far off slack water, so I think I might have a little cast around. I'm starting off with a Storm GT Biscay Shad on there in 40 grams. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna stick it over the other side of this drop off I've parked myself on top of, and uh, we'll let that get to the bottom and we'll just slowly bring it up over the depth change there. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful out here, man. It's a good job I remembered me hat. So we're still fishing the uh, the last of the flood. I thought it would have been time for the ebb to start just now, but that means we're going to be sitting around uh, here at Slackwater for a little bit, which is not ideal, but we're going to have a cast around. You can still catch the odd fish. <laughs> and as if to just prove us wrong. Oh, and then I lost it. There you go. But as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, it's, uh, it's coming up to Slackwater. We're just, just at the back end of the uh, flood tide here. So what we'll do is, once the tide stops flowing, we'll go and find ourselves a nice pinnacle. We'll park over that and uh, cast around for a bit. Get in, yes. Oh, no way, that was an absolute beaut. It's back on, yes. <laughs> Second time of asking. I don't know if it's the same fish, but uh, it's not going to be small, is it? Look at that. That's a canny bend in the rod, unless, of course, we're bringing it up backwards. I'm a little bit excited. You might, uh, you might be able to tell. Oh, I think this is going to be half decent. Oh, it is. What a beauty that is. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get this up and let you have a look at it. There you go. Definitely worth coming out here, wasn't it? A little bit further into the slightly deeper water. And we've got results straight away. Right, if you let me uh, just get this hook out, mate, without savaging us. We'll pop you straight back. Look at that. What an absolute beaut. See you, pal. Maybe not as big as he felt. But uh, certainly not to be laughed at. Oh, he's made a right mess of this lure, hasn't he? We might give this a swim in a minute. This is uh, a power sardine from Berkeley allegedly impregnated with irresistible fish attractant. Shall we stick it on? Yeah, how are we? Let's stick that on and give it a shot, eh? This lure's just not behaving itself very well at all today. The old Storm GT. Let's whack this on. Do you know what? Why don't we go... Uh, double bubble with a stink because uh, these are allegedly a very power baity lure from Berkeley so we can't do any harm by sticking a little bit of the smell on can we so that's 40 grams oh that swims all right oh I like the look of that well let's get that, that down there that's got fish written all over it that thing Yes, we've got that. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> I think it might be a ras, you know, that's just been attacking me, but we'll find out anyway. Although it does feel a little more coddy now. Let's get it up and have a look at it. I'm going to take my time anyway, just in case it is. But no, it's a cod. Oh, it's not a bad one. Gosh, you can see them from a long way down. Hey, that is a beauty. Look at the head on this fella. Right, is that uh, in there properly? Yes, it is. Look at that. Pfft. Thanks for the mouthful of uh, whatever it was that was coming out of your backside there, mate. <laughs> That'll teach us, won't it? Look at him. Oh, oh, oh. Easy, easy, easy. 
He's an absolute beaut, isn't he? Full of life. Look at him. What a lovely fish, eh? Right, we'll see you later, pal. Oh, that was 100% a of fish, that. I think I'm going to swap my lures over in a minute because I don't know what's going on today, but we're not off missing a few. Gosh. The tiny, that's what it is. If you look at the end of my rod tip, it's going brrrr. Yeah, there's a shoal of what appears to be teeny tiny fish underneath us. I mean, we could stick a metal on. Live dangerously. Oh man, they're so small. Got that one, yes! <laughs> that one's not so small. I think it's gonna be, by the way it's behaving, a half decent coolie. That's the call I'm making. And do you know what? I was right. Oh, it's a mackerel. Is it? No, it's a coolie. Sun was in my eyes. There we go. Let's uh Let's get that hook out of there. Gosh, it's well and truly in his lip, isn't it? There you go. Nice little coolie. See you, pal. He didn't want to hang around, did he? Well, that's good news. If we can catch the coolies on these lures, I'm sure we can catch the cod. I am going to cast this one again and just bring it slowly back towards us. I'm not casting it far, just enough so I can put a bit of movement into the lure, you know? Sure whether I should stick the metal on. Because there are loads of fish underneath us. I'm just not hitting them. I'm gonna live dangerously and stick something else on for a bit. Maybe a metal. Because uh, I feel like I'm missing out. That's what it feels like. I've got a metal already rigged up in here. I don't think I have, you know. Darn it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right. Let's be brave. <laughs> Or daft. He could look at it either way and we'll stick a metal on. They're noisy, they're flashy, they're shiny and snaggy, unfortunately. Absolutely hammered. Yes! <laughs> Something was absolutely smacking that. <laughs> there are shed loads of fish down there. Sound has absolutely chock a block with them. Look at that. It's an acrobatic fish. Woo, easy tiger. He's uh, an excitable coolie. I mean, if you looked at the sounder now, you wouldn't believe how many fish are there. We'll not hang around. We'll get down, see if we can get through them. See if we can grab ourselves a pollock, because sometimes the pollock move underneath them, you know. Getting smacked on the way down already. That's not what we we'll want. There we go, on the bottom. In. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this feels all right. This is a coolie. It's a half decent one. <laughs> it's eased off a little now, like. There's an absolute shed load of fish underneath us, though. It is. Another coolie. But there are... Half decent size for coolies around here anyway, I mean, I know, we're not in Norway, like, where you get your proper monsters or the Shetlands, but uh, got some half decent ones down there for the northeast coast anyway. There you go, pal. And he's off. Just got the single hook on because it makes it much easier to get them away again. I don't like using trebles on me metals. Absolutely stacks of fish down there. Gosh. <laughs> we can't miss, can we? We can't miss with the coolies. Oh, we can with that one. Came off just at the surface there. But looking at the sounder, one of his pals will grab it any second now. 
Marit. <laughs> it's kind of like posh mackerel bashing, isn't it? Catching coolies. Look at that. Another half decent one. Oh. It's let itself go. I'm just going to uh, quickly show you that sounder because it's a bit crazy. It's a bit bonkers like. Look at that man. It's absolutely chock a block with them down there, isn't it? Anyway. Time we stopped messing about and caught some proper fish, isn't it? Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Right, I'm going to reset this drift. And now we've had our little coolie interlude and uh, stick the soft plastics on, see if we can't grab a couple of codlin and hopefully the elusive pollock, because there's not been many of them around this year. So, I'm going to stick this on. It's a Rabala. I got it off uh, a lad named Rob. He sent us loads of them uh, to have a go of. And I had them on last week and I did really well with them. But I don't know whether that video is going to go up first or whether this video is going to make it up first. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So, uh, yeah, this isn't the first time I've used them, but um, I had a load, on them, load of fish on them last week. Oh, what's this? Oh, we're in. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, the lens is in the sun, but this feels like a half decent fish. Certainly having a go. Let's see if we can get it up and have a look at it. Get in. So that's on the Rabala. Brilliant. Hey, <laughs> Look at that. What an absolute beaut. A lovely pollock there for you. Do you know what? Give us a second. I'm just going to get us out of the sun there. Just so you can have a look at it. But uh, we'll get on with unhooking it whilst we're moving around. At least that's what I thought would happen until I got it tangled around my rod. But anyway, there we go. Right. Let's uh, look at that man. Whoa, easy tiger. We'll get this lure out and uh, we'll give you a look at him. He's all right, isn't he? He's not too bad. There you go. What a beaut, eh? Oh, I'm happy with that. Right, we'll not keep him out of the water for long because uh, we've been fanning around getting the lens out of the sun. But uh, we'll catch you later, pal. Brilliant. Let's get back down there, see if we can't get another one, eh? I wasn't sure what was going on there. It just didn't feel quite right, the lure. I wasn't sure if I had a fish on though until I struck into it. So sometimes when the pollock hit you, they'll, they'll swim towards you at first. So you're not quite sure what's going on. Oh, we're in again. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, well, I'm glad we came out here into the slightly deeper water. This seems to have paid off, doesn't it? Oh, let's get this up and have a look at it. This doesn't feel too bad either. What have we got? A lovely codlin. Look at that, man. What an absolute beaut. Well, he liked that, didn't he? Whoop. Well, you're not going to see that one. I could have held on to him, but uh, I didn't want to squeeze him too tight because he's just come up from the depth, so he'll be feeling a little bit iffy anyway with a pressure change so I didn't want to add to that anyway well we'll just get back down there and grab another one eh right so we're just going to head to a little finger of rock which runs out almost uh, parallel to the Newton boy there off the point here so um, I'm going to position myself on the end of it and I'm just going to let the wind drift us back into shore but while we're heading over there I thought I'd tell you about the channel discount code for Galaxy Kayaks UK it's OTD5 
for 5% off absolutely everything. And of course, if you use that code, it does help the channel out a little bit as well. I'll see you over there. Right, so we've just stopped here because I uh, keep losing power to me fish finder. Not quite sure what's going on there. There's always something, isn't there? So uh, it just feels weird looking at it and not being able to see anything. Anyway, I found another one of those jig heads and I've stuck that Rabala back on. We'll get it back down there and see if we can't get another one of those Pollock because that was lovely, wasn't it? All right, let's just uh, get ourselves in the right position over here. So that wind's coming up from the southeast now. It was always forecast, but uh, I'd like to get a few fish in the bag, a few fish to the kayak before it properly arrives, like, because it's going to be eight or nine, so it's going to be uncomfortable, not dangerous, but definitely a little less comfy than you might imagine. Get in, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Worth coming out here for, wasn't it? Gosh, this is putting a bend in, isn't it? Um, my drag is really tight because I was in a snag earlier on, so I don't like quite I don't quite like how this feels on my line. Brilliant, let's get this up and have a look at it there. Trying to work out what it is. It feels quite heavy. I wonder if it's foul hooked, whatever it is. Nope, not foul hooked. <laughs> what an absolute beaut. Oh, hey. Well, that made the trip out here worth it on its own, didn't it? Bloody hell. Right, give myself a little bit of slack and we'll uh, we'll give you a look at this fella. What an absolute beaut. Get in. Oh, nice and nice and calm. We'll show you to the people at home and then we'll put you back, mate. Don't worry. Look at that. What an absolute beauty. See you later, pal. And he's off. Oh, hey, that was a nice fish, wasn't it? Of course, I'm paranoid after what's been going on today that I'm not recording, so we'll just have a little look. And yes, we absolutely are. So let's get the lure straight back down there. See if we can't get another one of those chunks. That was an absolute beaut, wasn't it? Oh. There we go. Hey, I tell you what, I'm kind of enjoying fishing without the fish finder. Because um, it kind of reminds us of when I first started kayak fishing and yeah, I had a sounder, but I didn't I didn't go from mark to mark. I just used to uh, look at the depth maybe and then stop when I, got, when I thought it was deep enough or when I found a bit of structure. But uh, I'm quite enjoying just sort of coming out, sticking the drogue out and having no idea what's going to happen next. Let's see if we can grab a fish. So it's a little bit deeper here, I can tell you that already. Because the uh, lure has taken a, a fair old while to get the bottom. So I'm going to say we're probably in about 18, 19, maybe 20 metres of water. There we are, we're on the bottom there. Um, as I say, I've no idea if the depth changes. The only way I can tell if there's a depth change is uh, when the lure bottoms out. So uh, it's important to keep letting line out in this situation every so often to make sure that you haven't gone into deeper water and your lure's now 18 foot off the bottom. <laughs> but yeah, I'm enjoying it, man. It's quite fresh out here. I'll have a bit of a red face when I get home off the wind and the sun, I imagine. But uh, yeah, let's get a few more fish. That'll be the icing on the cake. Get in, yes, <laughs> straight in. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Hey, and this isn't a small one either. Hey, we've had some fish out today, haven't we? So he's got his tail wrapped around the line. I can feel it smacking it. I never like that. It always feels like it's gonna knock the hook out of its own mouth, but uh, we'll get it up. We'll have a look at it. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. another Bobby Dazzler on the Rabala. There we go. Felt a little bit bigger than that uh, coming up, mind, in the current and the wind blowing the kayak in the opposite direction to it. I should say in the current and with the wind blowing the kayak in the opposite direction to it, but uh, I'll tell you what. 
It's not a tiny one, is it? Right. Let's get back down there and get another one. Ooh, I think I just got smacked there. Yes, get in. <laughs> That's a few we've had since we came out of the point. Brilliant. Let's get it up. I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to be a codlin, you know. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> get in. Fantastic. Look at that. Easy to unhook as well. Just a little fella, but uh, I'm happy to see it. Let's get back down there, see if we can't get his big brother, eh? Well, this is probably going to be the last drift this far out, I think, because it is starting to get pretty snotty-like, as you can probably see. But we'll get down there, see if we can grab one or two more, and then we shall beat a hasty retreat, I think. Um, I would be heading back if I was further away from home or further out, but uh, as I say, it's a small tide. Uh, I'm really close to the launch at the moment, so uh, it'll just be a, a reasonably quick dash when I decide to go in. Up, oh, straight in, yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. This feels quite sort of juddery. Maybe it was just because uh, there was a bit of slack line there when I first caught it because it feels quite a heavy weight now. What on earth is this? Let's get it up, see what it is. Hey, we've had some fish off this point since we came out here, haven't we? Oh, it's just wrapped up in the line I thought it was. But it's an absolute beaut. Another gorgeous codlin there. Get in. It's wrecked me loo I like. But uh, we'll let him off with that because it must be a bit of an inconvenience getting dragged up here. There he is. See you, pal. Right, let's uh, see if we can't get this back together in one piece. And the answer to that question is no. Right, so this is probably going to be the last drift. I've stuck the Sidewinder on. This is the Sidewinder I pulled out of a Pollock at uh, Port Logan. Um, the guy whose Sidewinder it is has been in touch since then because uh, obviously I put it in the Port Logan video and it was indeed the two lads on the boat like I thought it would be. And uh, I've had quite a few fish on it already. I, I do fish Sidewinders. I've got quite a few in my box, but uh, it always feels a bit better to catch a fish on somebody else's lure, doesn't it? So uh, thanks very much, mate. Oh. <laughs> straight in <laughs> there you go you couldn't write it could you oh hey this feels all right goodness me this is quite noddy brilliant ho, 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 ho. another bobby dazzler not massive like but uh I'm not going to get vexed. And somebody else's lure as well. Let's just uh, get that out. And we'll uh, get you away, pal. It's been a good little drift, this. It's uh, not somewhere I would normally drift, but I don't know how I'll mark it on anything because I don't have me... Obviously, I don't have a... me sounder with it, so it's kind of between... Oh, gosh. I've no idea where I am. That's the problem. I'm going to get my phone out in a minute and have a look. I think this is definitely going to be the final drift, like. So we're going to stick with uh, somebody else's sidewinder and see if we can't keep catching somebody else's fish, eh? <laughs> I couldn't believe that before. It was perfect timing, wasn't it? Uh, listen, do us a favour, would you? And head over to the Facebook page and give that a like. Just have a look for On The Drop Fishing on Facebook because uh, I'm always on there. Um, chatting about venues, where I'm going to go, um, lures, all that kind of stuff. And the videos always go on there first. Well, the link to them does anyway. Um, so, yeah, it'd be nice to see you over there. 
but I think this is definitely going to be the last drift because it is getting a little bit on the frisky side out here it's not too bad but as you can see behind us the tops are starting to sneak off some of those waves and so once we've done this drift oh missed that one once we've got this drift done we'll uh, we'll maybe head back in eh Yes, got it. <laughs> it was right at the top of me upstroke, as it were. So uh, I didn't quite make contact with it straight away. But, uh, thanks, thanks very much. But let's get it up and have a look at it. <laughs> get in. Another coddling. Fantastic. There he is, we'll pop him back. Right, that's it, we're gonna head in. Hey, we've had a canny session in the end, haven't we? Of course, uh, it wouldn't be me if something didn't go wrong, but I'll sort that fish finder out when I get home. Uh, don't forget as well, we've got our discount code at Galaxy Kayaks UK, that's OTD5 for 5% off absolutely everything. And of course, I'm gonna bang on about it because I always do. Please subscribe to the channel. It does make a big difference to that pesky old YouTube algorithm. Another thing that really helps is a thumbs up. So of course, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it one of those. And uh, if you want to ask us a question, if you want to suggest a venue, anything at all, please do that in the comments down below because I always reply. I'll catch you next time.